Hey guys, welcome to another episode about SQL Lite. So for today we are going to deal with variables. And first thing that you should know about variables is that SQL Lite uh, does not use expression variable. Actually, in SQL uh, it's called uh, CTE or Common Table Expression. But call it any way you like, it's basically one and the same. So you probably know that every programming language is uh, offering uh, many uh, ways uh, of calculations. And SQL, it's not fully programming language, but still there are features that you could use to manipulate uh, numbers in a way you like. So in order to create common table expression or a variable in SQL, you have to provide keyword width like this then name for your uh, variable then keyword as and then in brackets first keyword select then value of your uh, variable let's say 75 then again and then name of the variable that is going to hold this value 75 and now if you want to print uh, this value out you're going to uh, type another expression select uh, then all from variable x and if we execute this code we are going to get value 75 from variable i uh, so uh, in order to continue you must understand one thing uh, first what is x x it's variable but x it's common table expression or better to say table. SQL deals with variables in tabular form. So for SQL, X is actually a table and uh, I it's a value or better to say column uh, that is going to hold this value 75. And second thing that you have to know is that this width expression it's just a part. Uh, moment uh, you uh, type uh, semicolon in here, you are starting with new expression, and uh, this uh, x value will no longer exist. So if you intend to type something like select all from x second time after semicolon, let me show you. This is not going to work uh, because for SQL, uh, this X after this expression it's done does not exist anymore. But what if you would like to have uh, two common table expressions uh, within same select statement? Is this possible? Oh, yes, it is. Let me show you how to do that. So uh, after uh, this uh, first common table expression is created, uh, type comma and uh, now you don't have to uh, type another width just use another variable y as select another value 45 as b and uh, if i change this into y and run this code we are going to get variable uh, b value 45 but that's not all. You could actually use this uh, variable uh, i uh, in order to perform some kind of calculations. Uh, how to do that? In uh, this second row, we are going to type 45 times i. So we are going to use this i to perform a multiplication. And uh, if we run this code right now, oh yes, I forgot this from x. So in order to uh, perform multiplication uh, with uh, this uh, value 75, uh, we need to call this uh, first common table expression or x. And if I run this code right now, you see we are going to get our uh, result from variable b. And now you would probably ask if x and y are treated as tables, uh, can those tables actually hold uh, multiple columns? Oh yes, they can. And that code, it's not complicated. So we are going to uh, select uh, 45 times i as b and then 54 is going to be second value as c comma and then 12.5 as r 
is going to be our third value. And if I run this code right now, you see we have uh, three columns uh, and three different values. And now the question, what is the point of this? We could actually use any other programming language uh, to do this kind of calculations. Uh, let me show you what is really interesting about SQL. Now, instead of providing value 75 directly, I am going to provide another expression in here. And I am going to take, let me show you, a value of a price from our item table in this way. So I'm going to select price from where item name equals let's say fish and now i'm going to uh, print only value of x we have a value 3.828 and now we are going to take this value for calculation i am going to select y and here you see we have uh, 45 times i uh, 172.26 and these two uh, values are hard-coded and finally if all of that is clear i am going to turn this uh, select statement into something a little bit more complicated so i'm going to select i and b from x and y and i'm going to run this code and you see we have a value uh, from our item table and our value multiplied but select statement it's only for presentation let me show you how to uh, put uh, these calculations in practice so now i am going to use update statement we are going to update item table and we are going to set price equals two and now we are going to take a value from variable b and uh, our uh, y common table expression in what way same like last time select b from and where we are going to insert that value where item name equals fish but i'm not going to multiply this with 45 let's uh, multiply it with two two it's just enough and don't forget semicolon now i'm going to execute this code and i'm going to select everything uh, from uh, item just to uh, check the value And let's check fish yes we doubled our value so guys this is all for this episode i hope that you like the content so please subscribe and see ya